Hi everybody, good morning. Um, so today I decided to switch things up so we're not doing the traditional several time like we have been doing. Um, this is going to be a little bit more for parents with some um, little DIY things that you could do to work on fine motor skills that are a little bit different than just the same old coloring on paper and making marks and just to work on more of those pinch or grasp and fine motor skills. So just a couple of little things and you can use them a variety of ways. Um, so I have a couple of different containers here. Um, so any size, anything extra you have laying around. Um, I took two different containers and this one I cut out just a small little circle in it and this one a little slot to slide items in it too. So um, if your child's just starting out, they really still have a big fist grip and need a little more room, you can just pop the lid off and work on it that way. So just working on putting those items in the container, really making sure you're labeling, put it in, take it out. Um, and if you have multiple of an item, I have three little glue sticks here. Oh, let's put the glue sticks in. Let's go. One, two, three. And then you can say, can you give me one? Let's see if they'll take it. Can you give me one more? Good. Or you can put them all in and say, oh, can you give me three? However you can make those work. But then I can also slide the lid back on, give them the same item and say, oh, can you put this in? It's a little more difficult as they have to make sure they're getting that aim and sliding it into the hole. Uh, with this one too, um, some other things I found just like a little toy beaded necklace. So having them try to fit that inside the container. Um, a piece of cloth or however big yours is, but just getting them to slide it in, it'll take a little more work, but each time they're using that pincher grasp to get that item in the container. Pom-pom um, balls, even if you ball up pieces of paper, just different textures, really working on um, those skills. And then for our one with the slot, <clears throat> you know, if you're working together, you can use regular coins and have them slide it in. Um, I found a little piece from a checker game. You can be working on sliding that inside. Again, slits of paper. Um, this one you would also maybe be able to take our necklace and have them slide that in there. It's gonna be, you know, a little more work, take a little bit longer, um, but that's okay. So the biggest thing is just putting in, taking out, and getting those things done. Now, the other thing that's really important that sometimes we don't always think about um, is having our children practice cutting. Um, so once we move into school age, like kindergarten and those kinds of things, cutting is really important because they're going to have to cut items out, paste them down to complete worksheets, and those kinds of things. So <clears throat> a good tip I've gotten in the past to work on cutting as opposed to using a regular piece, piece of paper um, is to use an old greeting card, um, cardstock. This is actually just a flyer that I had left over that came in the mail. Um, I'm going to have my adult scissors, but of course for the kiddos we want to be using um, kid scissors uh, or even the scissors that are looped at the end so they can just practice that open and close motion. So the biggest thing when your child's cutting, um, make sure that their hand positioning is right. So we want our thumb, if they're using regular scissors, thumb and then our fingers in the bottom and then working on that open and close. So initially all we're looking for is just little snips. If they can snip the paper, we don't need a straight line. We just need little snips. So just quick, easy, right across, however they want to do it. it. And at this point, if they're just learning, just working on that open and close. So you might need to guide them, ask them to close it. You might have to help open it. Um, but just really that practice to keep those skills going. As they've kind of gotten that motion down with the snips, then you could always draw lines on there and ask them to try to stay closer to the line or those kinds of things and progress from there. Um, other great things, you know, I know it can be messy, but it's nice outside this time of year, so um, Play-Doh, just getting them to really use those hands and work those muscles. Um, kinetic sand, if you have something like that. There's also um, DIY ways on 
you can look up uh, to make uh, different types of kinetic sand. Um, you know, playing in a little tub with beans or rice or um, any of those things where we're getting their hands moving. So just a few tips and tricks um, to hopefully help build up those fine motor skills as we're looking towards going to summer break and a little bit more fun activities that you can slide in as more just play things that aren't school and are easier to fit in. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.